episode 17. Episode 17. Woo, woo. Hey, everybody. What's going on? My name is Katie Lance, founder and CEO of Katie Lance Consulting and founder of the Get Social Smart Academy. And it's episode 17. And today we are going to talk about three tips for making the most of your Facebook insights. So for those of you who have a Facebook business page, probably have noticed that you have a little button on your business page that says insights, but how often have you really checked out your insights? If you're like a lot of people, maybe you check them out periodically, maybe you forget about them, but I wanna share with you three reasons why you should check them at least a couple times a month, maybe even more than that, but three things to really point out when it comes to your Facebook business page and Facebook insights. Number one, you can see when the best time to post to your business page is. This is awesome, right? So often I get the question of what time should I post to Facebook? And I always say it depends. Look at your insights. So when you're on your business page, click the insights button, click the post button. And within that screen on Facebook, you'll see a chart that will show you when people like your page, when are they most active on Facebook? So for you, it might be 9 a.m., it might be 9 p.m., it might be lunchtime, but that will give you a great sense of when are the people who like your page, when are they most active on Facebook, and then you'll have a sense of when to post or when to schedule your content. Tip number two, find out which posts are most engaging. So instead of just saying, well, let's see if this works, let's see if this works on Facebook, Go into your insights, again, click the insights button, click that post button again, and you'll see that chart we just talked about. Below that chart, you'll see all of the posts you've ever posted to Facebook on your business page. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is you can sort that list by engagement. So look at that list and then go over to that button that says engagement, sort your posts by engagement, and what you'll see are all of your posts sorted by uh, either the ones that got the most clicks or engagement like likes or share or, or, or comments. What you wanna look at is look at the top five to 10 and what do those things have in common? Were they pictures? Were they uh, graphics that you created? Were they videos? Were they Facebook Live? What, what was it about that content? that made it get the likes, the comments, the shares, and the clicks. And a lot of times what you'll find is that it's usually things that are very visual, right? So photos, videos, Facebook Lives, not always, but a lot of times it is. It also a lot of times has to do with how long the text is in a post. We found the shorter, uh, the shorter amount of text that you can write on a post, a lot of times the better. Again, not always, but looking at your insights, looking at your posts, sorting by engagement, I like to look at this uh, this at least once or twice a month. Uh, when I'm really on it, we'll look at it at least once a week, but that'll give you a really good sense of what works well on Facebook because what happens a lot of times is people will post things to Instagram, to Twitter, to other social networks, and then they treat Facebook exactly the same. So you really wanna look to see what is working on Facebook and what isn't working for you and make sure you adjust accordingly. That's really important. The third key tip to your Facebook business page when it comes to insights is you can view your demographics. So a lot of you may not have realized this, but you can actually go into your Facebook insights and you can see the people who like your page and you can see, are they, are they, is it mainly male? Is it mainly female? Uh, is there, you know, what's the age percentage? Is it, you know, more people, uh, is it millennials? Is it Gen Xers? Is it baby boomers? What, what's the age range of the people who like your page? But even more importantly is what is the demographic of the people that are engaged in your page? So when you're looking at your insights, you can see the demographics of people who like your page, which is nice, but really what I love to see are what are the demographics of the, of the people who are engaged with my page, the ones who are liking and commenting and engaging with me. And you know, for me, it's typically around 65% female, 35% male. I have my biggest percentage generally between the ages of 35 to 55. Not always though, right? So we wanna, we wanna look at those insights. And again, my insights are gonna be different than your insights. So you wanna look at your insights. The reason why this is really important is especially when you think about Facebook ads. When you're thinking about your Facebook ads targeting and you're thinking about what age should I talk target? You know, is there a gender that I should target? Is there specific areas or cities I should target? you know, looking at where people are most engaged already on your business page is going to give you some great insight for how to best target your Facebook ads. All right, so those were three quick and easy tips. We would love to hear from you. Do you have some tips when it comes to Facebook insights you would like to share? Do you have any questions for us? Leave us a comment below. As always, if you like this video, we would love if you would like it, comment, share it out. And for more information about social media, feel free to go to katielance.com. And by the way, I know we're talking about Facebook pages here on this video. 
some of you may not realize this, but we are in the process. We launched recently our Facebook Pages mini course, which is part of the Get Social Smart Academy. So if you're really looking for a resource to get better about Facebook pages and your Facebook business page, head on over to GetSocialSmart.com, sign up for our academy, and you'll get full access to the course. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll talk to you real soon.